Well, it was a fascinating evening last night. Uh, Martin O'Malley is now out of the race. Mike Huckabee is now out of the race. Um, we, <laughs> we'll see what happens to Jeb Bush. Uh, really, really kind of sad news. But there's some interesting demographic information that I wanted to share with you. You know how they say demographics are destiny? And, you know, I mean, there are some who are complaining about it, right? Uh, Pat Buchanan wrote a book uh, complaining about the fact that, you know, old white guys aren't going to be the majority in the country anymore. I guarantee they'll be the they'll hone, they'll have the majority of the money and power for a long time because they've had it for 500 years. And, you know, it's going to take a long time for that to change. But um, unless, you know, Bernie gets becomes president and we get a wealth tax or something, who knows? But but in any case, the it, demography, demographics as destiny is not just true for the Republican Party, which is what we've all been talking about, how, you know, basically the, you know, the average age of, of an O'Reilly uh, Hannity show viewer is is uh, deceased, right, or close to it. Um, I, it's a bad joke. It's, it's really around 70 years old, the, you know, the average age of their viewers, if my recollection is correct. And um, they're not being replaced by young Republicans. Young people tend not to become Republicans. They either become idealistic, un badly and bad, poorly informed idealistic libertarians, particularly if they go to a university where the where the uh, sociology or uh, economics chair seat has been paid for by the Koch brothers, or they become Democrats. Um, so, so anyhow, let me just share some of these numbers with you. This is uh, under age, from 17 to 29 years old, right? The the voters in in Iowa. I guess it would be 18 to 29 in order to vote. Well, you can vote right now. You could vote in the primary if you're 17. If you're going to be 18 before the general election, so so 17 to 29. Hillary Clinton only got 14 percent of that vote. I mean, that's amazing. 84% of it went to Bernie. 84% of people basically under 30. And among people 65 and older, 69% went to Hillary Clinton and only 26% went to Bernie. Which I find particularly interesting given, given that, uh, you know, for those of you who've watched the show for years and years and heard Bernie on here hundreds of times, you know, one of his big shticks is strengthening Social Security and Medicare. I mean, it's just huge. And I, I, I think it's because... I, I think that the reason why the 65 and older would be more likely to vote for Clinton than Sanders, even though Sanders' positions on older people have always been really, really strong. Whereas, you know, uh, Barack Obama, when Hillary Clinton was part of his cabinet, was willing to actually cut Social Security, you know, the chain CPI. The reason I think that that's the case is that people over 65 are getting their information through the corporate media and the corporate media and rather than the Internet. And the corporate media has been so in the bag for Hillary Clinton and totally ignoring Bernie Sanders up until just the last week or so. And even now, when they do do Bernie Sanders, it's more often than not with snark rather than, you know, they never talk about his issues. And and God forbid he should say something like corporate media. So. So anyhow, that I found I found that interesting. In the thirty to forty four age group, Sanders fifty eight to thirty seven, Clinton. Uh, whereas in the forty five to sixty four, it flips. It becomes Clinton fifty eight to Sanders thirty five. So it seems like the the point of cleavage is basically in the early forties. People under say forty five years old are overwhelmingly for Bernie. Eighty four percent if they're under thirty. Fifty eight percent if they're thirty to forty five. Uh, for Bernie, whereas people who are over 45, 58 percent for Clinton if they're over if they're 45 to 64, and if they're over 65, 69 percent. So just you know to the to the point of demographics is destiny. You know what does that mean? How is that going to change things? I psh, I don't know, but I just I thought it was really fascinating. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.